Hello everyone, I am Ratnaditya and currently I am associated with one of the company which is working with IoT. Here IoT stands for Internet of Things. Before starting, we must understand the focus of this discussion um, and it can be understood by deriving it into two different quotes. The first one, the only thing which is constant in this world is change, said by Mr. Albert Einstein and we must have to accept it because uh, we are changing and we are changing extremely fast. We can relate uh, with the example that uh, we are using smartphones. Two decades back, uh, we could not imagine considering or uh, holding any of the smartphone in our hand with n number of features like n number of uh, sensors and built into it. But now we used to. The second quote, every discussion consider to create a circle and that circle has to be understood. This is what I believe that you will be going to feel in this particular discussion. So let's uh, talk about IoT. Let's break IoT into two major words. The first one, internet and the second is things. When we talk about internet, uh, the introduction of internet to us happened with the development of electronic computers in the 1950s. But the actual use of internet among the mass begins in 1995 and 96 or like 7. Since then, we use internet a lot. We use internet in every aspect of life. We use it everywhere. We enjoyed it a lot. Uh, from accessing an important information to book a cheap travel ticket, we use it everywhere. We as a human being always go for easy way out. And this is what the uh, internet is doing to us. It is making a life easy and fast. So the second word is things. Uh, it can be understood as anything or everything. It's like your shoes, your wardrobe or even socks inside your wardrobe. So the conjugation and concoction of both the words internet and things become internet of things or we can also understand it as internet for things whatever i'm talking is not fiction but reality iot is providing us an opportunity to communicate with the things around us uh, whether it is your vehicle or like your car or like anything around you now everything is open to talk now the question is why talking is essential it's simple we need to talk just to collect data and the huge pile of data helps us to predict the behavior of each other. Through this, we obtain best and optimized result out of it. We can understand this as, uh, consider you have a friend who you know for like 10 years, you know some of his weaknesses and habits because you have enough of time to actually know about or like follow him. And you have ample amount of data that you have already fetched in this particular time. So consider this particular fact, you can obtain a good amount of data, which in turn helps you to understand the other personality. Now question is, how is it going to happen in terms of technology? How will we be able to communicate the things around us which are anyway non-living? The answer is simple. We need to set up a connection between the real world and the digital or software world. To obtain this, we can understand the system's component like four different components which are very important and essential. First, hardware. Second, controller. Third, data. And the fourth is application. So, how we can understand the connection between these four components? I have an example for this. Consider yourself to be a system. You have got five sensors uh, like tongue, nose, eyes, ears and skin, which connects you to the outer world. In the same way, all these hardware like different sensors connect physical world to the digital world. Uh, I have got some sensors with me. Here you can see a gyro sensor. This will tell you the angle in which the body is moving. The utilization of such sensors can be seen in uh, aero industries or like fleet industries. I've got another sensor which will work like a uh, skin to some application and this is called proximity sensor. Uh, so we have got n number of examples uh, in which we can relate uh, on the part of hardware like different sensor which connects uh, like physical world to the digital world. Now next is data. What is it? Whatever digital values coming out from these sensors is data. It's a set of information which you as a human pile for future perspective. All your decision actually depends on it. That uh, in which we are going to react for anything. Example, I don't like eating uh, mashed potatoes, but uh, I surely like eating fries from the same potatoes. How it happened? It happened because I tasted them separately. And this is how I created a memory. And this is itself, that taste itself is a data. So data can be understood 
as the information which leads you to take decision. In the same way, the data, like digital data, allows controller to take decisions by performing different numerous algorithms into it. Third component is controller. In our case, it's a mind. Uh, but when it comes about digital world, we have controller like this. We have a development world in which controller is sitting inside it. The different sort of sensors collect data from different uh, ventures and uh, an algorithm is performing into it. Now, the question is why do we want to connect with everything? Answer is simple. We need to connect with everything just because we want to understand the behavior of everything so that we can optimize the result and take a best result out of it. Thus, we can conclude that the future of IoT is giant, big and infinite. We can connect with everything and everything can connect with us. This will open up the new dimension for the fast moving world and thus I believe that we will be able to enjoy life for the fullest. We change for a better future and this is how the circle of life forms with the focus of humanity. I believe that you enjoyed listening to my views on IoT. Thanks for watching our channel. Request you to press the subscribe button in our YouTube channel and also press the alarm button so that you will get immediate notification in case of any new video upload.